Hey guys, welcome back to Vegemite channel. So in the previous video, we have discussed about the microbiology of the Moraxella bacteria. So in this video, we will be dealing with the pathology of the disease that is produced by the Moraxella bacteria. That is the pink eye disease in cattle. So pink eye or the infectious bovine keratoconjunctivitis is a bacterial infection of the eye that causes inflammation and severe case that may lead to permanent blindness. So synonyms are new forest disease or infectious bovine keratoconjunctivitis. So these are the agents. These are producing many types of conjunctivitis in the different host species. So we'll be dealing with mainly the pink eye or the new forest disease in cattle. So the pathogenesis is actually by the type 4 pili. They will be attaching to the animal tissue and the animal layers, eye layers. So they will be producing cytotoxin that is MBXA which is hemolytic, cytotoxic and leukotoxic. So the filamentous hemagglutinin like proteins also play a very big role in the infectivity. Fibrinolysin, protease and phospholipase play a role in tissue infection. So the stages are, stage first will be having lacrimation. So severe lacrimal duct will be affected. Stage 2 actually they will be producing the pink eye appearance. Corneal edema is the main reason. Stage 3 is actually the ulceration. Many ulcerative problems will come near the eye region. And stage 4 is the scar formation. So the clinical signs is actually uh, a lacrimation, blepharospasm and conjunctivitis. So in the later stage, a red cone of granulation tissue will be projecting from the cornea. The granulation tissue and the ulcer itself will regress leaving a white corneal scar. So these are the main clinical symptoms and you can see like this. See the eye, corneal edema and the pink appearance. This is the ulceration phase. This is the proper the uh, scar has come. See the whitish scar lacrimation and a later stage scar formation. This is the ulcerative phase. See the flies can also transmit the disease. Lacrim severe lacrimatory phase. See the ulcerative and lacrimatory phase. See the whitish scar. So in the diagnosis Swabs of the lacrimal secretion can be taken and uh, also the inner canvas of eye should be taken. Now isolation the blood dagger to see the diplobacilli organisms. Low flow serum slope methane, uh, fluorescent antibody testing, PCR also can be used. So, treatment is actually by the injection of the tetracycline or the topical application of antibiotics that is clocacillin. Uh, but tetracycline is mm, mostly used in case of cattle. Now we have to control summer flies. That is many flies can also transmit the disease. So you have to actually control the flies to evacuate this disease. So thank you guys.